the reason i started doing this session and also i hope it's clear i am going to be demonstrating my invention the man's thermometer the reason was those two bad months that we had recently in india specifically in delhi also we all were stressed we all got mad either i was sick or a family member was sick or a friend or a colleague was sick or a neighbor was sick and we were fighting for resources someone would need bed someone would need oxygen someone would need a medicine and then we went mad on this communication portion specifically on whatsapp by the way the response 43% had said whatsapp was there main so this is fifth time i have run this session in first four sessions the second option was stop that internet or google was the main source of information so this batch it has come out differently so to manage communication specifically during crises i'm saying there are some good practices during pandemic or during any crisis by the way during even normal communication and that's the golden rule never believe and never spread rumors trust me and the question you may say but damn how do we know what is fact what is rumor and that's why i said i'm going to demonstrate i'm going to be demonstrating this thermometer that I have developed which helps us to see if, to separate facts from rumors so look at this case that i'm going to present to you check your mobile you receive this message in the morning tell me please is this fact or a rumor coming to you from narendra modi forwarded message tonight at 8 pm i will announce complete lockdown in the country to manage the 10th wave of covid-19 pandemic your responses in the chat box please i am monitoring the chat box now case in front of you is this fact or a rumor according to you first one mukund says it's a rumor anyone else we have eight people logged in Second, Ashok Rumor. Third, False. Okay, Sonali, Shiva Rumor. So it seems all those have responded so far, hundred percent saying it's rumor. Why do you believe it's rumor? It's not fact. Please type in again in the chat box, or, or if you wish, I believe you have the power to unmute yourself. You can unmute and speak also. Pauline says. we'll check on google and investigate okay rajesh need to know from authorized sources and by the way google may not be the authorized source media channels rajesh says do you mean to say are authorized sources my suggestion is please don't believe those of the are authorized sources anyone else before we move on we all agree this is rumor this is not fact but second question or second part of the question was why do we believe it was rumor it needs to be established it has to come it's forwarded and we don't know whether it's true thanks sonali so that's why i'm presenting this thermometer to you any text message that you receive believe it's rumor it's not fact unless it is from a reliable source for example your family members any forwarded message and that was a forwarded message not narendra modi sending you directly it was forwarded to you by someone it seems to me again unless it is from a reliable source for example your family members any audio message that you see believe it's a rumor it's not fact in last 19 months we might have seen many audio clips going around i'm a doctor from wuhan 
from Singapore, from Japan, and this is what is happening in this city or country. Trust me, a doctor has all the resources to make a video clip rather than an audio clip. Don't believe an audio clip, trust me. I'll attempt to put all on mute. Give me a second, please. Thank you very much. Again, an audio message, unless it is from a reliable source, from, for example, your family member, thermometer says it's a rumor. Also, if you receive a picture photograph, believe it's not fact because people can edit pictures very well. And again, the rule says, unless from a reliable source, for example, family members. Video message also, I said, a doctor has the capability resources to make a video clip, but later on my thermometer is saying even videos can be morphed, can be edited very well. So unless it's from a reliable source, which Rajesh also was saying, only difference of opinion I had, I believe in media channels are not reliable sources. Next one coming up, please do not mind this. I'll tell you the reason behind this in the following discussions, but please do participate in this because I have just said the thermometer says, unless it is from your family members. So the question in front of you, are your family members a reliable source? And you have five options. Of course, the most reliable in the universe I'm not sure, but I cannot say that. No, I know, but I am scared to admit this live on this program. I do not know, and I will use the month's thermometer. Only 33% people have responded so far, so I'll wait for some time. And the moment the participation increases, once again, the responses start varying and become interesting. Eight out of nine people, thank you very much. I'll stop the polling here. And the results in front of you. 13% saying, of course, the most reliable in the universe. I'm proud of my family members, yes. 38% saying, not sure, but cannot say that. 13% saying, no, family members are not reliable. I know this, but I'm scared to admit. No one saying, do not know, which means all are very sure about their decision or thinking and 38 percent saying they would use the most thermometer thank you very much please do that that's why this thermometer has been created for you and this is the reason i asked this question right it might have appeared to be a little rude so i said please hold on participate i'll tell you the reason i am sharing my own experiences with my own family members a far related relative got admitted to hospital due to excess dose of Kadha. I hope everyone understands what is Kadha now in the last 15 months. Excess dose Kadha. She was serious. I'm not sure because it was far related, far distance related. Their relative, sorry. I'm not followed up whether she recovered and how much and after how long. One close relative from Australia wrote that Covishield vaccine was causing blood clots. But today, we understand that one in a million cases, it may happen. There are some side effects of generally all vaccines. But this case is from April. And think of this fact. Now, my father-in-law had got Covishield about three weeks ago. And then he had a stroke and it came out that he had multiple clots in his brain. So I'll, I could relate it to that, but till that time I had never heard that there were any 
such effects of covishield and all these are family members by the way and a close relative found out that the india made vaccines were banned in europe again i have not heard even today i know india was exporting to the whole world including some european countries but this person who is a very close relative says indian vaccines banned in europe what happened immediate impact his parents were due to go for vaccination in couple of days and they said sorry we won't they delayed it by a month or so which one did they get later on that i do not know maybe it's still covid shield maybe i'm saying but at least immediate impact and while i didn't have any clue about this i didn't know it was fact what i knew for sure was india was exporting to the whole world including some european countries also so my message is with due respect to relatives also please use thermometer with relatives also why do we do this why does this happen i understand that reason also i claim that i understand human psychology a lot while i'm not a psychologist by qualification or professional by experience because we are human beings as simple as that i am worried about you you are worried about me that's why during those last two bad months that we saw april may we all were doing a lot on whatsapp specifically on the whatsapp anything and everything coming from anywhere spread it to the whole world my family members are the most reliable i'll spread it to the whole world please think twice trust who in this case whenever it is health related issue please trust who that's a reliable source so different depending on different crises type of crises we would have to establish that reliable source or trust local city state central country health authorities did you come across this case this also went viral by the way on whatsapp 37 doctors of delhi's gangaram hospital tested positive while they had taken vaccine 37 doctors of gangaram hospital i'm giving you pausing few seconds to think recollect what happened to you in your mind at that time if you had received this the fact was we know there are many people among us we do not have a right mask and we don't use the mask appropriately correctly but those are doctors which means they had the right masks and they knew how to use those correctly also despite that they got impacted or infected so were you worried at that point in time 37 doctors of gangaram hospital or are you still worried i'm not asking you to answer questions just think within yourselves are you going ahead with the vaccination or have you given up again about two months ago the situation was different a lot has improved even in india almost in all city states with respect to vaccination but if such thing happened even today you know, we know sputnik has come recently and one of my nieces got it yesterday on the second day of its out in one of the hospitals here in delhi and we were laughing discussing in family there were long queues for that vaccine specifically that's what she shared and then we were laughing that because it's only the second day the side effects of this vaccine have not come out yet as a joke at least but did you come across this also linked with that the previous viral message 37 doctors someone doctor sujay is saying we are 500 doctors at gangaram 37 are covid positive which means 92.6% are protected from infection that's good positive news i like it otherwise it was a lot almost 99.99% was all negative around us at that time and he continued five are hospitalized 
which means 99% protection from hospitalization. What else do we expect from a vaccine? This is positive news. Five admitted don't have severe disease, which means 100% protection from severe disease. A person like me still do not believe it. I would like to use the thermometer. I did, and I found, yes, he was a doctor at Gangaram, and he would have done this. So thermometer, while the temperature is not too high, on this thermometer, by the way, if the temperature is high, that's much better. In this case, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's high temperature, but it's still a fact. Why? Because personally, I was not happy with this. A doctor tweeting, I would have expected this counter to be on Gangaram Hospital's website flashing, bold and beautiful. And by the way, I would have expected even the government of India, health department, the health minister, ministry to counter this openly. That actually these are the facts. 92% protection from infection, 99% protection from hospitalization and 100% protection from severe disease. What about this case? I got this message on Facebook on 22nd of May. It's in Hindi. I hope most, if not all, can understand this. If you can't read, I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll read it for you. Sabse sharmnaak din behad dukhat ghatna. Delhi Max Hospital ke Dr. Vivek Rai ne marijon ko oxygen ke kami se marta dekh karli atma hatya. Suicide note mein kaha marijon ko nahi bacha pa raha, is liye kar raha hoon atma hatya. What's next for me? Tell me please. Anyone? Now I would like to monitor the chat box or you can unmute and speak. I don't want to validate. Yes, please. Sorry. What shall I do? I have received this message on Facebook. So, on Alika, Facebook seen... message. Yes, please. We, we cannot uh, trust the Facebooks always come. They'll post it. So what shall yeah. I do? That's the question. Do not believe validate, this forward validate, and validate, check. Yeah. How do we validate? Okay. Check How in anything we... Google search with that name. Uh, Google, please, again. Yes. With, with caution, you could have said, the man practice what you preach. Why don't you yeah, use yeah. your thermometer? Yeah, thermometer. Which is yes, kind of, yes, which is validate. kind of, yes, validate. Maybe Google also. I'm not saying Google is all wrong. I'm not saying that. Okay. And I did, and it seems photo is matching 100%, isn't it? Doctor working in COVID ward of Delhi's Max Hospital dies by suicide. And that's the headline, by the way. So far, so good, it seems. What is the thermometer saying? It's a fact, isn't it? Uh, let's dip it a little more, please. Let's check it full. I hope you can see my explorer now. Someone say yes, no, please. Yes. Right. Yes. So, yes. So this is the Google. This is internet, all right? Let's go a little down. What we find is that there's no mention of this, that there was a suicide note found and the suicide note said that he was committing suicide because of being unable to help the patients because of the lack of oxygen availability. It's not here. So this is how the thermometer is helping us. And now I'm saying it's a rumor according to me. I'm not believing it. Another one. And this is what I was saying. There may be some names coming up. I've said already, my intention is not to harm anyone, any intentions to hurt anyone. But this is what is happening in our own groups and we are professionals. Uh, this is a big, big challenge in India specifically. Anything that comes in the names of Tatas, Ratan Tata, Mahatma Gandhi, 
Dr. Kalam. We tend to believe. So this is what we got. Tata Steel will continue to pay monthly salary to the family of all employees who die due to COVID-19. Till the retirement age of the deceased 60 years. Something like that. Attempt to find, I could see that it seems this lady called Shubhangi Salvi might have posted it and this person in our professional group might have received it from there. It's matching 100%, right? Dip it a little more, please. Who is this person, Shubhangi Salvi? I thought it would be, she would be the official spokesperson of Tata's or of Tata Steel. We are dipping the thermometer again and again. She is not from Tata's or Tata Steel. Some global goodwill ambassador. So whether it was right on her part to do this, I'm not sure about it. I'm not raising any question about that, but I'm just going slow myself. By the way, I noticed she has half a million followers. I hope I have those many. So my thermometer says, I hope you can see screen again. It's a rumor. I do not believe it yet. But at least two people saying so. Tata logo available, Tata Steel logo available. So a bit doubtful. Let's do a little more on this. On the same day, Times of India had this news and it's matching, right? Quickly, Tata Steel announced that it will continue to pay salary to the deceased employee's family till the retirement age of 60 years. Matching. So maybe it's tilting towards being fact. Maybe the temperature is going high. But it says a little more than this. It says, along with medical benefits, housing facilities, and we are all educational expenses. So again, two are not matching fully. I went next step. My brother works with Tata Steel. And he said yes. And he shared this official notice with me. Now I'll attempt to, I'll tend to trust, believe. All right? But again, what happens is there's something wrong here. What is mentioned in Times of India and what is mentioned in this official Notice which is shared by my brother who works with Tata Steel, not matching. The official notice doesn't talk about the housing benefits and medical benefits, etc. So I wrote to him again and he confirmed, yes, all that was also correct. Let's look at this also. My explorer in front of you. This person, a vice president, so very senior level. Not from Tata's, not from Tata Steel, but from Tata Consultancy Services, at least another Tata Group company, and the same official notice here. So I have a tendency to believe it now. These appear to be becoming the reliable sources, right? Another example from family members. And I'm saying with due respect to family members, I also have family members. And all these experiences, examples that I have been narrating are from my own family. One family member forwarded this. Then what? There's something about the vaccines. Study by med medical fraternity regarding vaccines. Now, which medical? And it's forwarded by the way. First rule failing. Right. Don't trust forward message generally. So I'm not decided because it's from a family member. But then what do I do with this? Is it useful to me? Is it making any sense to me? I'm not sure as of now. Another one. I hope you might have come across this also. And this is also from the family member, please. 
all vaccinated people will die within two years. Family member who is saying this, family member is only forwarding this, right? Clearly forwarded. But saying who? Nobel Prize winner. We would have tendency to believe. To be safe, he also says forwarded as received. So no liability on me. <laughs> But think of us, when we receive such news, what happens to us? First reaction, my wife said, till that time we were not vaccinated. My wife said, I wouldn't go for vaccination because I don't want to die in the next two years. Questionable, temperature is low. Even if some family member, even if it's Nobel Prize winner saying, and find out please, right? Go deep. The ch challenge is that we all have a tendency to forward before we read ourselves. And after forwarding, we don't even read. Even after forwarding, we don't read what are the contents. Just by heading, we tend to take actions and start forwarding. And this is what I wrote to this family member. On that day, it was again a Saturday, same time, 11 a.m. I was doing this session, display of my thermometer. I requested him, suggested you should attend this session. I'm not sure whether he did or not. Other professionals, so repeatedly names appearing, but not to cause any harm. My intentions are neat, clean. Another professional. No one's safe anymore. Japan's Osaka city crumples under COVID-19 onslaught. The moment you receive such, what will happen? It's a negative news. No one is safe again. A lot of stress. Start using thermometer, please. Let's look at this one. I hope my explorer in front of you all once again. So it seems yes, it's yes. correct. It seems it's correct. No one's safe anymore. Japan's Osaka city crumples under COVID-19 onslaught. But that's heading. That's headline. Go read, please. Attempt to read. There's nothing like that. No one is safe. Nothing like inside. So these people, whoever it is, media, whoever is writing, they know we are human beings. They have a tendency, and this is in their interest, that they play with our emotions by headlines, by creating that those type of headlines. Tata said this, Gandhi said this, Dr. Kalam said this, or something like this. By the way, who is saying this? You know, it's not a, an India media house. It's perhaps... All my life, I believe the most respected name in the world when it comes to news writers. After this, after May 24th, I'm not respecting them anymore. So my thermometer is not giving good temperature for this. Take another case, please. This is a poster that I have forwarded to you on WhatsApp. What will you do now? Your options. It's from Prime Minister Modi, so I will forward it to all in the world. Or it's clearly Government of India, so I will forward to all world. C, I do not care. D, we were told in a session that we should never believe the forwarded messages. Please exercise the power of your fingers. Tell me what is your response. A, B, C, or D in the chat box. First one is D. Colleen. Anyone else? Mukund, D. We were told in a session that we should never believe the forwarded messages. Shivadi. So it seems 100% so far saying option D. By the way, you had option E also. 
I will use the month's thermometer. How would you do that? <clears throat> Look at the poster. Look at the poster. There is a number available, call the number please. There is an email address, ID available, write to that please, or visit the ministry website. And this is what I did by the way. And I found the poster there on ministry's website. This poster that I'm showing is not what I've received from someone. This is the copy that I downloaded myself from the ministry site. The temperature is very high also this time. So once you have established this, then as a concerned and a responsible citizen, you will follow the instructions yourself and you may, I'm saying may, you may share it with your contacts safely. Some of you might have come across this also. I like this by the way. Times of India started this service. You can send any news to them and they will check the authenticity, this mobile number. This was an advertisement published in the Times of India. I don't believe this yet. I need to use my thermometers. I call this number. I used, attempted to use this service. And then I found, yes, it was valid number. It was on WhatsApp and they did respond. Very good. So it becomes an add-on feature to the month's thermometer. Thermometer is still powerful. Because next step, I'm doing a little more, experimenting a little more. Even if thermometer said it was fact. I forwarded few messages to them. I wanted them to check the authenticity and that said they work only on COVID-19. Typing mistake, please. It's not COVID, it's COVID-19. And only in two cities in India at that time. This is about three or four weeks ago. Which means thermometer is much better. It works for all news in all cities in all countries beyond COVID-19 pandemic crisis also, it would continue to work. By the way, as the situation has improved a lot in Delhi, in India, this advertisement has started disappearing from Times of India. For last two weeks, I have not seen this, so I'm not sure whether this service is still working or not, while thermometer is still working and will continue to work. What about this one? I could not establish fully, at least IFLA, who appears to have created this poster, is available as a company, but I couldn't find this poster on their website, but I'm still using it, showing, at least displaying it, because whatever is mentioned makes sense to me. How to stop fake news? Consider the source, read beyond, check the author, supporting sources, check the date. This is what has been happening. Today, I forward a message to you, which perhaps is two years old or three years old. Thousand dying because of COVID-19. Six months ago, yes, thousands were dying. Today, not dying. So that six months old message forwarded to you, to you today is nonsense. According to me. We need to be very, very careful. What about this one? Some of you may know this name. Some of you may be connected to this person. I am connected to this person. Who is he? He is the director of IIT Delhi. So generally, he is educated, senior person, well-established person. I would tend to believe what he shares, what he writes. And by the way, because we are connected, I keep receiving from him whatever he writes. Few days before this one, he had made a post and then I forwarded saying that because he is director of IIT Delhi, I'll have a tendency to believe and I'm forwarding. 
I'm believing that. I have said that myself. And this just this one came again. Tendency would be to believe, but what it says is look at this. Maggie Maker Nestle admits 60% admits. It's not that someone is saying, it's the company admitting. 60% of its food products not healthy. And I said, I would have some doubts and I would like to go forward. It seems, yes, it's available. The link given by this person, that link says Maggie Maker Nestle admits, once again, admits 60% of its products not healthy, food products not healthy. I would like to do a little more of this. I did this. I sent the same link to Nestle. What was this link? This link. Right. So the same link sent to Nestle. And they did respond. After a couple of days, they did. Small characters. Hopefully you can uh, read it. Thanks for writing to us, dear Mr. Su. This news is not true. Thank you very much. But we also know that any company would like to deny any negative news about it, itself. So I'm not saying it's a rumor, but I'm putting a question mark for sure. I'm putting a question mark for sure. I'm not believing it yet. Not so easily. Another one. Again, I hope you all might have seen this. And look who is sending. Once again, this is a LinkedIn connection. With due respect to all the names that have been showing. Before this case, he had made a post. We all know we keep receiving such calls, mails, and posts. Someone is sick needs help, please donate. And I would like to say 99.99% .99 of those requests are fake requests. It's bad. Sometimes perhaps because of me or this attitude, behavior that I have towards such requests, some genuinely needy person would have suffered, could have suffered. But I go to that extent I'm admitting that I don't believe this. Whatever help I do can do within my capacities i do otherwise but do not believe such requests so this person had forwarded that and i said it such requests are generally fake he proved that it was really a sick person who really needed the help and he he vouched for it i said thank you very much now i have respect for such person he is using kind of that thermometer already before he is posting and then after a few weeks this post. What is this post? Oracle India had wife booked for cheating customers. I trust this person, I've told you. But within few minutes, hours, someone commented on this that the said person was not the Oracle India head. Immediately pick up the thermometer. Yes, it's in news, at least three places I could find it. What we see is Oracle here. It's not Oracle saying this. Oracle logo has been used, but it's some other place, business line, who is saying Oracle India executive served police notice in cheating case. And these are headlines, right? Three places, three headlines, three are different. Name given here. Who claimed to be IT company's senior director. Oracle India exec wife booked in cheating case. Oracle India exec sub police notice. See, totally different. How do we believe? That's why thermometer is important. I did a little more. Uh, Some place I could find zero involvement Oracle. Oracle said the company has zero involvement in this matter. We would also like to share that Pradeep Agrawal is not the Oracle India head. No, 
is not an oracle India had currently or was not oracle India had ever. But still, this is not from Oracle. It's someone, somewhere saying that Oracle said so. I couldn't find this on Oracle India, so I'll have doubt about this authenticity. I would have expected Oracle to publish this on their website also. I left a message on their Facebook. There's no response to me so far, but I'm not following it, this case anymore. And I'm not believing it. It's questionable, I'm saying. Not rumor immediately because it came from a reliable person, I respect this person. And there's something about this in the media, at least two, three places. So question mark, at least for sure, not believing it. What about this one? TCS, Infosys, Fipro, Cognizant, HCL, Tech, Mahindra, other IT firms to lay off 30 lakh. 30 lakh is 3 million. 3 million employees to be laid off. This news would have sunk millions of hearts, especially the young ones into their third, fourth, final years, aspiring to be joining the companies, this IP industry in the country. Hearts could have sunk. We need to use thermometer, please. So it was there about a couple of weeks ago, but there later on, I found that it seems from this site, this news has been removed. But the day I used my thermometer first time, it was there, which tells us there is something wrong. Then another place, another, this is india.com we see this is moneycontrol.com, a report on 3 million job losses, incorrect. IT sector hired 1.38 lakhs, 0.1 million. Says NASCOM. NASCOM is the, not regulator for ITITS industry, but it's industry body of ITITS, ES industry in India, we know that. Use thermometer once again, please. Okay, so money control says so, right? Three million jobs losses incorrect. IT sector hired 1.38 lakhs. NASCOM saying so. But again, when you go deep, you find that you're not able to correlate very well. What is being said? I take Outsourcing companies could see 30% reduction, which is about 3 million job losses. Those who know these companies, by the way, all these six, seven big names put together do not have 3 million employees in all as of today. So how could they lay off 3 million? Complete shutdown of all the companies. But First look, some hearts could have sunk because of this. That's why I'm saying use this thermometer crisis, communication crisis management to see facts from rumors. And then we got something else on 8th July. What was that? Let's look at that also. Another media house. TCS employee had count hits milestone with highest ever new hires in Q1. And they were laying off 3 million from all these seven, eight companies put together. Go down, please. You find something. There are now 500,000, which is half a million employees and total works of off. Exact number coming 509058 and net addition of 20,409. This is encouraging once again, perhaps some people would have survived. And I go deep, take my thermometer once again, please. What is TCS saying about it? Is TCS saying anything about it? Actually, what was in the news, in the media, the one that I showed, matching with what 
TCS says. Now temperature is very high. This thermometer is about to explode. This is a fact for sure. Each number matching actually. Even the employee numbers. Highest ever quarterly net addition 20409, workforce strength 509058. And uh, this is how thermometer is to be used. This is how thermometer helps us. By the way, it doesn't happen only in India. So once again, another LinkedIn post. British Airways in crisis talks. Look at the bottom, please. British Airways in crisis talks with the government over if vaccinated pilot what is admitting that four of its pilots had died in a span of one week scary negative once again think of thermometer base so video clip so i'll stop for a few seconds to check whether audio video both clear or not Video not uh, audio not coming for some reason. I'm not sure why. No audio, sir. Yeah, I can't hear myself also. Let me sharing and do sharing once again if I've made a mistake here. No, I've done share sound, so it should have come. No worries. Think seats in as if you know I told you that that news item had been brought down so maybe there's some change here also on this side also but it was showing that audio clips it was an audio clip and the first rule was do not believe audio clips i went a little deep into this despite that audio clip here all right this is yours truly I have invented my Damans thermometer that helps see facts from rumors. I'm happy to arrange a demo. Many live demonstrations have been done in, of the thermometer. And next, next one was on that day, on 19th June. I was doing this once again at 5 p.m. I'm attempting to raise awareness to the extent possible, even beyond India. That's what I attempt to say here. It doesn't happen only in India. It happens outside India also. Again, I'm not saying rumor completely because I could find some traces of that. At least people, pilots, sick and died within short span. British Airways claiming that there was no relation between, correlation between all four deaths, that all four were because of the vaccination. My forwards have reduced. I'm attempting to raise awareness to a sometimes reminding fellows on their posts. I'm attempting. No one is perfect in this world. Crisis communication, crisis management. Communication during crisis, very important. We need to be careful. I want to share this as well. And with due respect to Tata Group. First 20 years in my life, I also work with TCS within the Tata group. And I'm saying, whatever generally we have that tendency in India, whatever comes in the names of Tatas, we have a tendency to believe. Recent news was that Jay Tata, the owner, the person who created the group, had contributed the most to the society in terms of money. Proud moment, isn't it? Named top of philanthropist of the 20th century good sorry what i mean to say is i can find traces of that once again how much 102 billion dollars more than 100 years ago
calculated at today's value. We need to keep this in mind. It's a proud moment, no doubt about it. I have huge respect. But it's not a real fact. Someone else, maybe Bill Gates or whoever, no, we know that people have doubts about Bill Gates also today. It's a questionable name today. Not everyone, some people do have. But by amount, he would have donated more than $102 billion. But the value of one rupee or one dollar at that time when J Tata did, today it comes out to be $102 billion, which is the highest. We need to be cautious about these and we need to be cautious about the headlines for sure. That's what I'm saying repeatedly. I had been seeing this advertisement also in the newspaper again. And I would thought, I don't believe, skip page, skip page, skip page. But one day I attempted to read. So let me see what are they saying. We sincerely hope you can't, you won't need this. I thought they were selling, but I realized it was a free service. So thermometer once again, number what? This is the number. All the numbers. Before I forward, before I share, before I believe. Number worked. Website worked. There was a website also. I called number. They registered. My missed call with a meaningful acknowledgement. That's very important. That tells me it's a little more reliable. My faith goes up. They called back. They said they would call me and they would. They called. But I was not able to pick the call. I called back the same number. Maybe it is one way number. We know all this happens. No one is perfect. They called me after 10 days. And then I was laughing. If I needed oxygen 10 days ago, do you believe that I'm still alive in this world waiting for your service? So the database once created, they would keep calling. But at least that's good. They're asking. They called again after a week. So three calls. And then I said, please delete my name. I was doing it. I had told them I was doing a test only. I actually didn't need oxygen. Please delete my name number from your database so that your efforts also become useful. As a fact, and after that, I've shared this in all my groups. I've shared this in all my groups. I did. So coming to the end, and then we'll wait for some questions if there are any questions. This poll coming up in front of you. Were these discussions useful? I wouldn't mind even if you say no, because I've said, and I believe no one is perfect. I can do it better next time. If you find something could be done differently. Eighty-seven percent voting is good, so I'm stopping here. All of those who responded saying it was useful. So thank you very much. But I'll close with this, that even if I did, and it was free also, but the session wouldn't be successful, useful without the participants. So you all deserve a big clap. Please do that for yourselves. My contacts in front of you, I'll stop sharing my screen. And then if you wish, switch on cameras, please. I would like to take a picture also, which I believe you wouldn't mind if I share with the world that we had this session today. And we have some time. If you have some questions, I'm happy to take any questions. Otherwise, you can write to me later also. My contacts in front of you. Thank you very much. You can switch on cameras if you wish. First request is the intention is to take a picture. Only four so far. I'll wait for a few more seconds. And give me your best smile, please. I'm taking picture now. 
yeah one more thanks one more manoj rajesh if you would like to switch on camera i'm waiting for a few more seconds so them and just give me 2 minutes i'm not oh. in the position typical online we know the challenges of virtual world also we'll wait for you it's worth waiting Taman, just a comment uh, before yes, we wrap up. I, I I completely agree with you on the uh, aspect of you know uh, checking even if it is a close family member, because uh, my my experience over the last one and a half years has uh, typically been that uh, that uh, even family members have their own prejudices, their own beliefs, and uh, one needs to validate uh, almost every information that you are getting, especially on WhatsApp. and uh, unfortunately today uh, like you demonstrated even the uh, print media or the uh, you know visual media is not completely reliable it's not uh, so as a matter of fact while i am a part of all these groups business resilience forum mosaic all right and i i really don't uh, post too much because i am a little chary of uh, all the information that is coming through exactly. and as for the original question whether you know communication was too much in this pandemic uh you know maybe from an organizational point of view the communication was possibly enough uh, but because it gets added on to the overload which is otherwise happening uh the communication feels a little uh, you know overwhelming if i may use that word uh so one needs to look at the context of the situation and uh, possibly uh, look at communications from an organization perspective because Thank pandemic you. we were having too much of information coming from yes. all kinds of sources yes i thought i will just uh, no thank uh, you thank that. you i'm happy with that yes anyone else please any views yeah i think thank you sir i mean very good session i can say one thing i was uh, found of forwarding message like no earlier <laughs> uh anything comes uh, just i should be the first person to forward it to the team and later like now what i seen now the like now maybe i should take use your thermometer and recheck revalidate thank you and yes. give the correct yeah, message to the uh, what the form uh, form what we working in the security yes. field that make uh, attempt to attempt make uh, nervous to the people another kind yes. Yes. i mean yeah, i you know, 100% i use it thank you thank you very much you know the reason uh, i'm saying reason also i understand reason also and we should understand the reason. basic reason that we are human beings i want to break the news i want to be the first one to forward it to the whole world whatever has come to me so i go just go by the headline even without reading it even if inside I mean, perhaps someone is saying that man is stupid but i will first forward that one wants to break the news before no, someone happened, else forwarding it example, i should forward <laughs> it is the example happen in uh, i mean uh, media itself Uh, say no i mean karnataka edurappa is going to announce already announced as like lockdown right. say that you know then say that it is going to be happen after 6 o'clock the media already shown i put it a message it is not right. even announced after 6 only is taking call right. then like then i thought oh these all kind of tricks they play you know that what i see you i saw you are ppt we should make sure that not you just jump in wait i'll, I'll give you one more example let me take picture because at least uh, only one rajesh is not on but others have switched on the camera so your best smiles if you wish uh, yes and i hope no one has objection in putting this picture on internet so this question about media you know in the past we would have said seeing is believing so the one look at the tv you know you know what is happening on tv these news channels technology keeps increasing improving there were days when it'll be the news reader uh, reading right that's it when the clip comes the face doesn't come when the face face comes the clip doesn't come etc etc now with the advancement of technology one corner is small face speaking news reader then is the live feed also for example the riots in in delhi so someone is reading saying speaking riots in delhi but someone is showing that scene also and then running ticker that may be another news then top running ticker that may be another news so it's a mix of four five news at a time and we get confused 
what i'm seeing is modi said this modi said this two months ago not now <laughs> but that ticker is running on that this is this is bad and they are taking advantage of our emotions i would say by creating such headlines and uh, repeatedly we are human beings we have a tendency to fall prey and i have myself even if i'm preaching teaching but it's not that i have not done it ever i did and i realized oh my god this is wrong or this was wrong a little later i i would realize this was wrong i should not have done this it has happened to me also yes purushottam i think you wanted to add yeah yeah daman so uh, just something uh, else i want to add and uh, you know as very rightly you said i have been following uh, this uh, you know not to forward uh, i usually do not forward anything right. Right. unless and until it is interesting and then again you know as you said i first uh, you know make sure that it is authentic and only then i would forward uh, two things were here there are people who would comment on that stating that you know you are too uh, kind of uh, what you say perfectionist or whatever and by the time you send it you know it becomes a stale news because yes. anyway it is forwarded <laughs> by so many people we want so to that is one thing as simple uh, as that yeah that right so second part is some of the people they also say oh if something is coming from you we do read it because we know that it is going to be a proper one so again uh, it's a kind of uh, both ways i would say uh, people right. once they realize that whatever you are putting uh, it might come late but then uh, you know it would be authentic uh, you would gain that value and trust me even though we see that you know there are dishonest people and they are probably more however honesty still is having a lot of respect in this world that is what yes. my experience is so i think we should follow that. Okay. thank you yeah. thank you very much rajesh your hand is up i think you want to add something yeah i think uh, it was a very good uh, you know insight uh, and the importance of uh, you know uh, sharing the information see we, we have a lot of uh, you know informations are available yes. in the universe and it is our moral responsibility to see that you know if we are providing something see it may happen that you know we all are human beings you know sometimes we want you know so people should be benefited but uh, from our conscience of our mind you know mind we should see that you know we are providing the best of the best as of our knowledge and skills we have shared the information that's what i say yeah but uh, but we should not share such type of information like you know any health tip or you know something you know which can be impacting to our country or you know such type of right. you know uh, unrest in the you know country or cities and all because right. we may or may not be knowing about it and sometimes we exactly. you know with a emotionally you know we try to you know yes. uh, share the information but we may not be knowing how how much it may be impacting because yes. i remember because um, uh, you know one of my you know client was in uh, you know us and uh, you know when there was a riots happen in our country so mm-hmm. he said oh my goodness you you all are in the unsafe uh, place and all where are you and all i said no it is not like this and at the same time you know one of my friend in the in bangalore he said you you are in mumbai and it's a high tide how we are uh, you know going out i said high tide and everything is there is certain portion bombay is not something in the on a small town where you know you cannot move So yes. so yes I, I think a uh, lot of insight you have given thank you very much yes. once again namaste thanks thanks rajesh so so nali sorry your hand is up uh, actually uh, daman uh, i would like to say like thanks a lot for taking this session i know you have put a lot of effort and uh, i really appreciate that thank and uh, very true uh, to uh, how to identify the authenticity of the forwards news it's it's, it's, a, it's very yes. hard nowadays we It's have not. lots of new channel we have lots of uh, medias we have uh, internet and everything but uh, whether it is fact or rumor we are not sure because every news news channel just want to promote themselves exactly. and you know and they they just put everything in so hyper manner that the people sit at home and watch the news always get the anxiety it does happen with me as well It like happens, previously yes. we were having lots of issues in the covid 19 practically yes. there were not that many cases in our area but still after watching so many news and messages and forward it yes. i got the anxiety attack and uh, you know i was affected Right. so yes. this is a very good uh, session that you have taken you know which really going to help me to you know check the authenticity of the news and thanks a lot for that and i really Thank appreciate you. 
thank you thank you very much that's what the objective yes thanks uh, repeatedly we are human beings they play with our emotions as simple as that and you know even if i attempt to use thermometer the challenge that we all we all i'm saying we all have the challenge is that we do not have time i got a news um, it seems to be important it seems to be realistic if i if want to find the authenticity i need to stop my work whatever i'm doing whether official or personal i need to stop that need to spend and by that time perhaps because it seems to be so important so and i want to break the news also that's the biggest biggest one i want to break the news my experience again which i have not shown on this slide those two months were really really bad last 19 months were not, were not so bad this phase 2 about april may june was really bad in delhi and in india some other cities also But we are human beings we were suffering either me or a family member or a friend or a colleague or a neighbor or anyone people that had cried not that because they were sick others were sick others were dying the one what will happen to us the one what will happen to us in that case someone is looking for you know we did everything how bad can it happen someone was saying the one or whoever man we were posting in in these groups where everyone could do by the way i also went through that i was lucky i was not sick myself but my brother all four members fell sick and serious just that hospitalization was not required even when required if required it was not available at that one point in time around 10 o'clock in the night i also posted a message if oxygen available any contacts and some people do respond did respond before that anyone and everyone oxygen or bed or icu bed or <laughs> medicines and what our people would respond in good intentions intentions are not bad in good intentions 10 messages 10 responses i did few when i needed i called few numbers i am saying few whatever number i called 25 perhaps i called 99.99% numbers didn't work 99.99% numbers didn't work and few other people also said them and yes i also attempted if i attempted to use those numbers those numbers were not working so generally there was no help available intentions were good we were not spreading rumors most of us we know there are some people like that also who did do this on purpose but we being professionals we wouldn't be doing this as spreading rumors but it's counted towards that it can become within even if my intentions were good someone called me uh, it became so bad again i'm not sure whether all know this case or not uh, there is one case that i am requesting you all i'm asking if you can help me if you know any hospital where i could be or my relative could be admitted admission to hospital icu bed or oxygen or medicine this is the help we were seeking from each other do you know anyone who, who could provide this one person wrote for delhi my relative in this xyz hospital they have said that he is not going to survive you make arrangements whatever arrangements you want to make he said hospital said that if they wouldn't even wrap the body i couldn't leave that but at least he wrote that and they've said find so this person is asking favor for not bed not oxygen not medicine for cremation do we know any cremation grounds we have any connections where he could be cremated easily because we know that the infrastructure was not not only delhi not only india none of the countries the situation was such bad so bad that there was no infrastructure available or not enough infrastructure available so in delhi also even with the cremation houses there were long queues for cremation so that's the help a person was seeking it could be that bad situations were bad and we are human we human beings we would come under pressure so whatever we were doing we were doing under pressure also but we have the tendency doing otherwise also for that reason i want to break the <laughs> news so our cities for improvement this is what i would say and i am admitting i also have fallen prey a couple of times in the past more 
even in last 19 months perhaps but i am attempting to be a bit better with the use of this thermometer oh by the way in couple of such sessions i said this is fifth demonstration i did after watching few cases people started writing in the chat box daman how can i buy this thermometer where can i get this thermometer from <laughs> and i said i was a magician check your pocket it's already there in your pocket we just need to start using it it happens it can happen like that any more questions views suggestions or if not then we can close little earlier we had kept one and a half hours but if no more questions or inputs views discussion then we can close now uh, daman this is purushottam so uh, first of all thank you very much for uh, such a wonderful uh, session uh, it was quite good very interactive uh, just wanted to put forward my thanks thank you, thank you. rajesh and thanks a lot uh, thanks sonali again anyone else someone was speaking in between no. uh, ashok here just saying yes, thank you so much thank you thank uh, you much. as a matter of fact uh, we applied this uh, a lot during the floods in chennai yes you know where we would get inputs that so and so locality is flooded and uh, <laughs> and then i would reach out to known contacts there and actually verify uh, before you know telling the larger community Uh, so you know not only pandemic but then even natural yes, yes. Uh, yes. any any crisis yes any so that's crisis, why uh, this is yes. very useful yes. very my was saying yes thanks thank uh, that this thermometer <laughs> will work beyond <laughs> pandemic also it is for all patients and absolutely. all situations yes thanks yeah. sir thanks daman uh, the session was indeed uh, you know very useful and uh, it was very interactive so it was you know kind of engaging and of course uh, we all you know kind of did fact you know checking and when people used to send i used to you know respond back saying hey it's you know fake and all of that so we've done it in our own you know ways and means but now we have more clarity that you know google may also not uh, you know give us accurate information so there was a lot of insight so thank you so much for taking time you know for walking us through this concept of yours coin so well so thank you thank you thank you very much i'm happy if you are happy uh, rajesh your hand is up do you want to speak or it is the hand up from the last question that you asked if not then i propose that we close the session thank, thank you very so much okay. thank you thank you bye bye thank you bye bye thank you bye bye thank you so much thank you thank you bye bye